Hey guys, answering a video request for I'm the Vanavator today. He's asking about mounting systems and tripods and stuff that I use with my camera since I do pretty much everything using my phone as a computer. He's curious how I mount the camera and the phone and all that stuff. First of all, the camera I'm using Sony FDR X3000. I love this camera. This funny yellow thing is just a piece of a dish sponge that I use kind of as a wind muff. I use it like this if the wind's not bad and then I can kind of flip it up like this if the wind's really bad or like I have it on the chest mount while I'm riding the bike. So this is kind of how it stays. It's just got rubber bands holding it on. Sometimes if I want to get fancy I can use like a hair band <clears throat> like people use on their ponytails. This is the chest mount. This is just a cheapy one I got off uh, Amazon. You can see links to all this stuff in the description below. Uh, it's just got this closure. It actually has the uh, closure on the front. The actual Sony chest cam has it on the back. This is a little different in design. Uh, the Sony one's about twice the price, I think. This is really good. The only problem I've had is I took it in the water, <laughs> in the ocean, and it got pretty rusty. So I may like uh, take some steel wool or something and scrub this screw off. But it's worked great. I have no complaints about this thing. I don't know if there's a brand name on here, but again, you'll see all that stuff in the description. Yeah, I don't see a brand name. Other stuff I use. This is my go-to for uh, mounting this little Sony camera. This is called the Ultrapod. Get this Velcro undone, and you can see the actual logo. Ultrapod. This thing's great. I love this little thing. I've had these Joby ones before. This Joby is actually uh, the place I just rented in Chiang Mai. The guy before me had a YouTube channel and shot a bunch of stuff and he left this in the condo. There's some problem with it. And he left it behind probably because of that problem. I can't remember what it is. I haven't been using this. There's something kind of weird about it. It doesn't work in some way so I'm probably just going to toss this when I leave this place. I'm not crazy about these things. People love them. Uh, I had one before. I think the one I had was a little different. Uh, again, this is the Joby brand, J-O-B-Y. The one I had broke. I think what happened with the one I had, I screwed it down too tight, the camera onto the mount, and it just snapped. I was in Puerto Rico, and uh, yeah, it broke. I had to I had no tripod for the rest of my trip. I don't think these things are any good at all. I don't know why people love them so much. I much prefer this little Ultrapod. I think it's probably less money too. I'm not positive, but this thing's great. You look at this thing and it seems flimsy compared to the Joby, but I've been using this for years with zero problems. The only weird thing, and I don't know if this is inherent to the design or something just got weird on mine, but this thing here, where you move this around, for some reason sometimes I'll tighten this down and it will feel like it's totally tight, but it's still loose. Um, and then I just have to loosen it again, reposition it, and then I can usually get it to work, but sometimes it takes a little finagling. Uh, so this thing can be kind of funny, but as long as you're just careful with these things and don't over tighten them like with what I'm describing I could just keep trying to tighten it and tighten it and I would probably break it but if it's not tightening down like there you can see it tightened pretty good but sometimes I'll tighten it and it will just still be loose so as far as these things go I think all of them have their little quirks this has been my favorite that I've used now the camera or the phone itself rather this is a quad lock case i'm going to take you outside and show you uh how this mounts this is what i use for the bike and before i take you out there though i'm going to talk to you about the negative side of this system i have to put rubber bands on here to keep my phone from falling down when i prop it up so sometimes i'll watch youtube videos or netflix or something on my phone and this case has no real like rubberized texture. Usually a case will have some kind of 
rubberized texture so you can stand it up. I don't know why they didn't do that on this. I guess they saved a few cents, but it's one of the big negative sides of this. So I just put a couple rubber bands around it and then I can stand the phone up. The other negative about this case is it is really uncomfortable to hold in your hand, especially on the bottom, like around the uh, speaker here and this stuff on the bottom. This is very sharp where my pinky is right now. Very sharp, extremely uncomfortable to hold in your hand for long periods of time. If they would have put that softer, like rubberized stuff on it, not only would it have stood up like I was just showing you without rubber bands, but it would be much more comfortable to hold in your hand. And uh, it's really disappointing because aside from that, it's great. Okay, so here's the other part of the quad lock system. Now there's all kinds of different things. They make this one to attach it to the bike where it just basically goes on, you know, the mirror stem here. And this is big enough where you can attach it to other things too. I actually attached it to a microphone stand that was left behind. That was another thing the guy before me left in that condo in Chiang Mai. He left his microphone stand and I could put this on the microphone stand and use it like a mount. That was pretty cool. Um, this thing works great. You know, sometimes it's a little funny. I got on the first try that time. Sometimes it's a little funny to get the phone on here, but this works great as far as what it was designed for. You know, using this case to mount on here, it's great, it's awesome. I've actually, uh, not this scooter, but the one I was renting before it, I laid it down and the phone stayed attached. No problem. So I love this mount. I think it's great as far as that. It's only when you get into these other uh, issues with the phone, like holding it in your hand. Like right now, just when I put my pinky down here, I feel that sharp edge. It's extremely uncomfortable. I usually, uh, you know, with using this as a computer, I'll hold it in my hand for long periods of time. Like if I'm working on a document, I actually typed a quarter of an ebook on this thing, believe it or not. Something like, uh, 10,000 words I've typed on here and I'll just take this case off whenever I go to type or hold it for a long time because this is so incredibly uncomfortable and then the things just slick so you can't stand it up I really don't like those qualities of it but as far as using it for what it was intended which is mounting on here I think it works great they also make other mounts there's one that's like an armband that you can use while you jog uh, there's one that's I think some kind of a some kind of a mount for a car like that goes on the dash or the windshield or something I can't remember they've got different ones so that's quad lock they're out of Australia those are pretty much all the uh, tripods and stuff that I use um, it's worked okay so far you know getting down to the real nitty-gritty with this ebook uh, I typed a quarter of it on the phone and I just reached a point where here in Malaysia recently, I was like, okay, I gotta really get down to business on this thing and wrap it up. And I could not bring myself to type another word on this phone. So the exciting thing is, you see this box right here? This is my computer. I've been waiting a long time for this to come in. I just got it. Stay tuned, I'm gonna do an unboxing video on the computer. This is my laundry. <laughs> They package your laundry so neat. This costs six ring it. That's like a dollar twenty-five or something like that. To have pretty much all my laundry done. There's a you know, my long sleeve shirts were not in there. Or my hoodie, and I'm wearing my uh, jeans and one of my t-shirts, but everything else is all in that bag. So really inexpensive. Anyway, that's this video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have a video request or question of your own, please post it below. Please like the video if you like it. Please subscribe and please, please, please ring that bell so you'll see when I upload new content. And I'll see you next time, YouTube.